This is Selby Abbey, a beautiful building, but we're going to explore it as a series of sculptures linked together. A sculpture made of sculptures. We're going to start at the main west doors. The columns and arches that surround the door are known as orders. This door has five different orders, each one intricately carved into a different pattern. and each resting on its own stone column. At the top of the orders is a label or dripstone which takes water away from the stone below. Here we can see a more recent renovation next to the old worn stone on the left. Around the corner on the south side of the abbey a small door has no orders but has a label which is connected by two carved faces. One of these faces has a very elegant moustache. The stones sticking out above the arch windows on both layers of the nave are known as corbels, and above the drains we find some very eroded old water spouts. At various places along the nave roof we find grotesques, these differ from gargoyles in that they don't have water spouts coming out of their mouths. This is an older grotesque, and this one a more recent addition to the abbey. The south transept is a great example of how the shapes and forms of the buttresses and arches link together to make a unified structure. And even here, Above the highest arch window, we can find another label and again linked together by carved faces. The greatest window is a fabulous example of lightness of touch. Here we see the very slender, tall mullions rising up to meet a beautiful tracery of stonework, which perfectly frames the stained glass without overwhelming it. There is another fine example of this delicate interconnected stonework on the north side of the abbey. Also on the north side, high up, are two layers of balustrades decorated with carved figures from various ages. And of course, more grotesques. Lower down, one of the oldest parts of the abbey is marked by the string course. It's purely decorative and has no function. Even the highest parts of the abbey are studded with sculptures. There are angels, imps, finials, pinnacles, balustrades and life-size statues enjoying the very best views of Selby. Now we'll move inside and see examples of how the sculpted elements link together. We start with a column which seems very simple, but this one begins with an extravagant base on which it's a plinth and then a decorated roll. The shaft of this column is plain but rises to an ornate capital and above that is an impost block from which springs the arch above. It's worth looking at each column here as each one shows great variation in the decoration particularly in the capitals. The west end of the nave has some of the oldest columns and on some of these we can find ma mason's marks made when the columns were built hundreds of years ago. There is also some very fancy graffiti. Rows of columns support rows of arches 
There are three levels of arch in the nave, the uppermost being the clear story, which lets light and air into the building. In the chancel the columns are more complex. They have multiple orders, very ornately sculpted capitals, and support not only the arches, but also figures which act as plinths for statues above. Many of these plinths are currently empty. Let's see how the sculptural elements link the ceiling to the arches and columns below. So from gilded roof bosses, the roof joists fall to fluted impost blocks which sit on sculpted capitals. The trefoil shaft has another capital at the base, sitting atop an extravagant finial. Below this we see the statue, which is standing on a plinth between arches and is supported by the columns below. Looking up and east, the linked shapes and forms are very clear as we see how the curved ceiling reflects the shape of the great east window and the arches to either side. And again, this time from the bottom up, the incredible lightness of the window's stone tracery links seamlessly with the form surrounding it. There are far more sculptural secrets to Selby Abbey than we can show here. So do visit the Abbey and discover for yourself this amazing sculpture made of sculptures.